Cal Art of Sports here with Kevin Casey. Uh, first fight with the, the new promotion, man, Bellator, January 21st. Uh, you're fighting on the undercard of uh, Ortiz versus Sun. And tell us, man, how, how does it feel just kind of be in a new organization, kind of what, what the feel of the, the new place? You know, it feels like a like a breath of fresh air. You know, the, the the they opened the door for me over here at Bellator, gave me opportunity to jump on this huge card. You know, at the same time, you know, now sponsorship uh, possibilities are opening up, and I just feel uh, like a new breath. You know, so I'm I'm excited to be over here. I'm excited to be a part of this card, fighting Keith Berry. You know, as a tough, gritty uh, veteran, and I mean, I'm I'm gonna go out here and make a statement. I'm over here. I'm over here to compete and win the title. You know, so this is just the beginning in that run. Tell us what that's like. I mean, like you said, kind of the sponsorship opportunities opened up. It's it's kind of uh, obviously that's a, a lot more kind of money in your pocket. But tell us about the aspects as far as the the maybe like going out and getting them, or are they come to you, or is it kind of picking and choosing who you want? What kind of tell us about the, the that yeah. different? For me, man, as soon as I I uh, signed with Bellator and I put it out there, people started reaching out to me. And uh, that, that feeling is good to be able to, to pick and choose and, and see which way you want to go and just the excitement of, of being able to have your own identity again. You know, before we're over there, we have the Reebok deal, which was, you know, it, it was all right, but we're always wearing the same clothes and the same gear. And now we can come back with our own flash, put our own spice on it, own twist and be an individual again. Put your own personality on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us about this card, man. Ortiz versus Sonnen, two uh, two big names in the sport. Obviously, legendary name in Ortiz. Tell us what it's like to be on this undercard. Yeah, these are two icons when it comes to, to MMA. You know, Tito, I watched him from from way back and saw him come up. Chell's been out there making noise for forever. So to be a part of this card, you know, especially from uh, coming from uh, one organization and to jump right into this, it's it, you know, it's, it's a dream come true, man. So I'm excited. Bellator is uh, a phenomenal organization. You know, they're really, really making their their name grow more, and the the, the, the production value on the shows has been phenomenal. I mean, I was I was over at UFC. And I, I've always been in close contact with Coker, always with my eye over here. Hey, how's everything going? <laughs> Keeping the relationship cool, you know, because who wouldn't want to fight for Bellator? Yeah. No, 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 of course. Uh, definitely want to ask you, um, this last year uh, was, was uh, big for your family, obviously with uh, your father-in-law, Muhammad Ali, passing away. Tell us what it was like, uh, just his, his influence on you and your whole fighting career. Uh, for me, growing up, Every, of course you knew who Muhammad Ali was and you knew what, what he was about for the most part but being you know in the family and, and being able to really get an understanding of, of, of what he really did you know some of the details some of the speeches he gave some of the um, you know j just uh, to really see who he was as the man and not just the, the sports figure that's that's been just so inspirational for me and just genuinely seeing like like being around someone who who made you want to be a better person you know a, a lot of sports figures when you're when you're growing up you want to emulate them as far as what they're doing in the sport but Muhammad Ali I would have to say was one of the first people who influenced me in a way that made me want to be a better human being so I, I think that's the way his you know his, his legacy has touched me personally the most seems like invaluable just life experience kind of being being that close to the man yeah, I mean, just to just to share the the energy with him, you know, to sit next to him, and I mean, when I first met him, I the, the energy coming off of him was so strong I couldn't even look directly at him. I mean, I'm not even I'm not kidding you. Like it was like that much he radiated that. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I mean. So that uh, you know, and, and then to be able to have him crack a joke with you or you know something like that. I mean, I, I truly feel like I've been blessed. I have a beautiful wife and. You know, that's, that's awesome. Uh, awesome experience right there. I uh, want to ask you, man, there's a lot of lot of talk recently um, with MMA and boxing worlds kind of colliding with uh, Conor McGregor talking Floyd Mayweather, them calling each other out. What's kind of your thoughts on that? And and how would that fight go down if, if it did go down in a boxing ring? You know, if, if it goes down in a boxing ring, I, I, we always have to give uh, the edge to the, the guy who, who, who's done that his, his whole life, Floyd Mayweather. But I think anytime you try to mix the two together, you're, you're, you're starting to take it away from what a fight is. You know, if you look at what we do in the MMA cage, that's a fight. You know, boxing is a boxing match. So if you look, if you ask me about a fight between Conor McGregor and a fight between Mayweather, then I'm going to say Conor McGregor wins that fight. 
You know, anytime, you know, you, what you're basically asking Connor to do is go into the ring with, with one hand tied behind his back by limiting, limiting, limiting his, uh, his skill set. So if he gets the payday off of it, congratulations for him. But at the end of the day, it, it, it takes away from what we're about because uh, what it is is, you know, who's a better fighter? Connor's a better fighter. Definitely want to get your take too uh, on a recently signed fight uh, in the boxing world, the Canelo versus uh, Chavez Jr. What are your kind of thoughts on on that matchup and and the, the weight kind of differential and all that stuff? You know, I've, I'm very much not connected to the the boxing world, so I haven't been following. But uh, I like Canelo. Canelo's young. He's hungry. He's strong. You know, he had a great fight against Mayweather. He's exciting. He has that power. So I, I think he'll be the uh, the champion of the future. What do you have to do on Saturday night? Like you said, you want, you're want here for the title. What do you have to do to prove to Bellator that you're the guy, you're the guy right now, you want the title shot next? Make a statement. Nothing short of making a statement. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm going to do, is make a statement against Keith Berry on Saturday night. Kevin, thank you so much for the time, man. Best of luck to you on Saturday, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, sir.